Okay. Well, we've checked out the bridge. Did we find everybody here? There are five people from the bridge missing. Hmm. Wait. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, the escape pod bay! I forgot about William being up on the bridge level. William! Let's have a talk, huh? Maybe his bracelet's gonna be in here, it's gonna be a trap. Whoa. Did they attack each other with these? What the fuck? Uh-oh. We do have Typhon material here. Oh! Well, it's just chilling out in there. That's creepy. Just in case he wants to do something, we can blast him in the face. Morgan, you... <coughs> this part will work, but... We are over now. <laughs> I think he was gonna try and blow, blow us up. That's funny. Kill the imposter cook. He killed himself. Hold on now. Hold on now. I uh, I kind of cut off his conversation or what he was trying to say to us, and I don't want to do that. So. <laughs> Hold up now. What kind of bullshit was he gonna try and spill to us? Morgan, you. <coughs> this pod will work, but I do not know how to launch it. Oh, well, I guess, you know, you're totally trustworthy with that big goddamn recycling charge sitting right next to you. Yeah, totally. Let's resolve our conflict on Earth. In the fresh air, huh? With worms under our feet. You know, you look like you've had a bad time getting here. Have a fun launch! So, he dies if you go inside of uh, his pod room, I think. I mean, we know that. But I want to I want to see if we can make him survive. Throw a med kit at him or something. Mind jack him. Knock him out instead of doing anything else. Can I mind jack him? You cannot mind jack Will Mitchell. All right. Well, if he's guaranteed to die, we are over now. No, wait! There were supplies in there! Okay. <laughs> I figured I'd let him blow himself up. Just to be funny with it, but... No, there were supplies in there that I want. Fuck you, we are over now. We are over now. <laughs> oh, fuck, you're <neuromods>. a <laughs> That doesn't count against us, right? Because, uh, I didn't do that. Yeah, alright. It doesn't say anything about humans killed. Good. Good. Because, you know, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. You are over now, Mitchell. <laughs> That's kind of anticlimactic. Although, a nice attempt. I wish he had, uh, I wish that was a little bit... Uh, less obvious. If it had been, like, here, on the side of the pod, where I might not have noticed it in my peripheral vision, that would've been good. Or, like, hide it behind the briefcase? That would've been perfect! The guy's a genius at, like, setting explosive traps, but you're telling me he was gonna put the trap literally next to his head? So when you're staring at him talking to you, you're not gonna notice it? That doesn't make sense. Oh well. 
He either fought off a Typhon and uh, got injured while he was down here. Or he was injured on the way, but we don't see blood trials leading up to this place. So it must have been recent. Oh well. That should be the vast majority of them. Or at least everybody on the bridge. I don't know who's still on the bridge level, that is. But we're gonna check real quick. Okay. So... Where the hell are these guys? Flight traffic control? Oh. <laughs> he was right behind us. Alright, what about everybody else? Uh, that one's life support. This one is on the bridge, though. Oh, I guess I just wasn't really looking that hard. My bad, guys. There's one more person left on the actual bridge. And they're right over here. Oops. Okay. We still have a bunch of people for the bridge to find, but they're kind of in different places. We're gonna we're gonna mark down this one, Arbitum, because we're about to head back to that level, anyways. We can start knocking out multiple objectives in a row. Go to the Arbitum, find the lady's body, and then go to the crew quarters to find out what happened with. Uh, or to, to get the stuff for Igwe. Ah! <laughs> that spooked me. That's, uh... That's bad. We came up here and just got immediate jump scare sounds from the fucking phantoms attacking this turret. Is my inventory full? Ooh, whoops. It's okay. We can fix these situations. Alright, little turret. You finally did your jab. So what are we looking for? Marietta Kirkus. Still can't scan this place. It looks like it's covered in way more energy than beforehand. Or, you know, that could just be because I wasn't really trying to pay attention to how much had spread throughout this area. But it's a lot of coral, my god. Okay, Marietta... ...is... ...here! Whoa, what the fuck? Yeah, I definitely... ...never explore this area. Oh boy. <laughs> it wasn't letting me repair it from the angle that we had. Did I I thought your shift isn't for another two hours, but I need you to come in now. Is everything okay? No, it's not. Stop by my cabin first. Bring the gun from my safe. Transmitting the key code. Right away, Captain. Ooh, the golden gun. That's what they're referring to. Oh shit. Is there a a golden pistol? Well, I guess that gives us a reason to check out the crew quarters a little bit more, huh? <laughs> but before we do that, let me, um, actually crew quarters is- going towards crew quarters is the good idea. There's a security terminal here. Oh shit. Nice. I can completely take out some of these phantoms now, without worry. Uh, we'll dismantle these weapons, because we do need spare parts. Although I don't know why it wasn't letting me pick up the spare parts here. There. <laughs> like, we have the stack, you just have to fill it. Alright, I figure while I'm here, I can try and find anybody who's whose body's on the, uh, the arbor arbitum. 
and knock them all out at once. That's what we're probably going to do as we try to find all the bodies. So we see one guy was on the Arboretum that we haven't found yet. Deep storage... Unknown! Wait, what? Alive? Safe? That can't be right. He was in space before, and now he's... Safe? And an unknown? Uh-oh. Oh, wait, no. This is a Manuela. That's not- okay. Uh, wrong one. Wrong one. She is... I think the person who was with the other guy. The one that he was trying to pine for as he sabotaged everything. But I don't remember their names because, again, I'm bad with names unless we get faces. Like, now we know Igwe, we know, uh, Michaela, we know Sarah, Elazar, and Danielle. Because now we can associate them with their own faces, and that's good. That makes me happy. Okay. Oh, right, now I remember the other mission I was trying to remember, uh, that is in the crew quarters. So there is... Nicole... Yeah, Higgs or Hedges or whatever. We gotta find her. Ah! Ah! Right! I think we passed by this area and weren't able to get into it before. But now I have way more options. So, uh, how am I gonna do this? Is there a hole here? There is not a hole past this stuff that I can carry. Oh, it just opens. Ah, uh, but there is a level 3 cargo thing blocking the way, and I just sunk it through the world. Well, never mind. Okay. Hi, Karen. Thank you for all the shotgun shells and the upgrade kit. What else do you have in here? Ooh, spare parts. Yeah, this is definitely worth it. Okay. We're gonna... start making our way into the crew quarters. Although, I am going to jump cut as I look through the menus a little bit more. I want to make absolutely sure that this floor is clear. Of anybody- Ow! Fucking- Me- Do what?! I just got murdered by a fucking trolley! Or almost murdered by a goddamn trolley! Ow! Holy shit! Welcome. Maybe I can help you. Diagnosing. Looks like you've had a rough day. This won't take long. All done. Please yeah. patient experience. If it wasn't for the fact that so like I'm super buffed and in a suit, I pretty much tripped and fell by running headfirst into a trolley. Scanning. Neuroimaging shows your mental resources on the This should help. That should help you. <sighs> Anyways, I'm happy that now I can, like, pretty much two-shot a Voltaic without even firing a single bullet. Thank you, Psychic Powers! Alright. Gonna have to slowly go through here. Oh, shit. The nightmare's hunting me. I'm, like, trying to look through all this goddamn information and it's hunting for me. Ooh, look at it, how fast it goes. Well, all right, bring it on! Oh, it's fighting my turrets, I think. Stop that! My turrets are nice people! I mean, they're not really people, but you broke them! Look at this! I worked hard on that. They're fortified and everything. God, now I gotta set them back up. That's just a dick move. There, guys. I'm sorry that the nightmare came and hurt you. Ah. <sighs> so I actually grabbed. We're gonna make this a little bit easier for me. I grabbed a notebook, or a. Uh little journal thing and I'm writing down all the information on these guys so that way whenever I go into a security terminal a lot of the work is taken care of beforehand because it's gonna really suck if I have to keep on going in one by one by one one by one by one by one trying to go through this it's organized in a really 
clunky way for me to find their bodies. So we're gonna make some work. We're gonna we're gonna get their workplace. So that way we have an area so we can go here really quickly, and then we're gonna get their name and the location of their ID. And that should allow us to find things a little bit easier. So that way, every time I go to a floor in one of these areas, like say I head to the Talisman exterior, well, there's not much I can do about the Talisman exterior, uh, but if I go to like say the crew quarters, there's a security terminal on the crew quarters, so I can use that that crew quarters safe, or uh, sorry, I fucking read that, I can use the crew quarters security terminal to find their locations. So, more jump cuts around. Okay, I spent the last uh, 15 to 20 minutes writing down everybody's general locations. I have a pretty organized list, and I even have summed up numbers of where people are. Where the hell is this guy, though? Oh, he's at the entrance to the bridge. Well, how'd I miss him? I just was there. But it looks like the vast majority of people that we haven't found yet, there's at least seven dead bodies in the crew quarters that we haven't found yet. And since we're just about to go there, that really works out. Oh, this guy was fucking inside of the ceiling panels? What the fuck? No wonder we missed him. Hold on. I want it. There we go. Access your stuff. Just a banana peel. Oh boy. Well, all right. We found a guy dead in the panels with his head blown off. Jesus. Didn't even get a neuromod from that. <laughs> his head blew up. So there's a whole neuromod just right there. Yeah, okay. Well, let's head over to the crew quarters. We have a whole lot of things that we're going to be doing as we wrap up these missions. And then we can head out to the exterior and find Emmanuel as well. So how many missions we got? Quite a few. Oh, you know what? The treasure map. The treasure map, treasure map, treasure map. Uh, the treasure map... One of those bits is gonna right be here. inside of the crew quarters, so that works out for us. Is this... that's deep storage. <laughs> no! We do not need deep storage right now. We have to head to crew quarters to find all the dead people. For the missions and just for the sake Hello. of finding them in general. Why do I again, miss Dr. them, you? though? They must have been in the- there are a lot of rooms that are currently locked off to us in crew quarters. So that's pretty bad. Uh, so we're trying to find Nicole. I think she was life support. Yep, Nicole Haig. We have to find out where she is. Either she's locked off in a room I didn't go into, or their bodies are like blown up into the ceiling. But we spent a good couple hours in the crew quarters to be missing seven bodies. All right, we haven't been here for a while. Lord knows we're probably going to run into quite a few enemies. Okay. Well, fucking phantom already. Ha! He's just dead. A normal phantom comes in and then, boop, oh, he's gone. Oh. I didn't know there was a medbay down here. I missed this last time. This would have been useful. Please do give me a medical engineer operator. Alright, I mean, our health is full at the moment, but options are nice. I'm surprised there wasn't a body in there. Whoa! Stop that. <laughs> My turret is bait! You know what? I want to see something. Oh. Ah! Holy shit! <laughs> Caught me off guard! <laughs> you got me there! Fucking phantoms. Uh. So I tried to see if I could pin this thing in a position. But you can't. It actually gets legitimately blocked off 
by the goo so it can't even fire. And we can't even deal with this normally. Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, it breaks off eventually, but it also hurts it a bunch. Damn it, man. <laughs> I just want to set up a trench line, you know? Like a sandbag line where nothing bad will happen. Alright, I think that's what we gotta find. Six. Oh boy. Is that being put in my objectives, by the way? Let me see. Treasure hunt. Uh, yes. Good. Okay. So I don't actually have to write down the information myself. I can let the objective marker do it for me. Uh, dismantle. It sucks that we're gonna get another pistol so far forward when I have my, my actual pistol already maxed out. There's not really a point for me to, uh, to upgrade it if it's an actual upgradable gun. Well, let's move forward. Maybe drink some water along the way if there are water fountains. Ah, <laughs> unlimited power. Okay. Oh, the poster actually has something for us. Okay. Oh no, we have a transcript we haven't listened to. Captain Marks, I'm calling to let you know I've authorized a full evacuation of Talos One. I've tried to issue a mayday to Earthside operations, but our external communication systems are malfunctioning. If you're still with us, we're keeping our posts until the last pods are safely away. Marks out. Huh. Well, she tried. They did admirable things here, even if it didn't work out in the end. <sighs> it's because of the life support or the escape pods not working. Although I wonder how many escape pods would have been launched and, ha and would have had like a mimic on them. That would have sucked. All right, so audio logs. We need Littner's music sample. Hey, that worked! You are such a dork. Oh my god. <laughs> Igwe. The ultimate fanboy on this station. Was key to the first concerto Leitner played. It was the first time Maya heard him. And we were both. I felt small in the light of his skill. I can play it now too, thanks to a neuromod. But only in my head. You used a guest neuromon. I copied their neuroscans and hid the data on my transcribe. Fabricated my own mods. I'm not proud of the act. Now, I'm glad I did. Yeah, I mean, if he's lost and dead, it's a good thing you did it. Alright. Do we have anything else? Seller Sarah Elizar's cabin. Hmm. I guess we'll have to get her keycard from her. But we have the captains! Who we didn't really even hear much about until we went to the bridge, which is a shame. I would have liked to learn more about Captain Jada Marks. Two, seven, seven, six. All right. Artemis Gold, Golden Pistol. Neat. So it's just a Golden Silence Pistol. That's kind of funny. A gold-plated trophy pistol once belonging to the four-time world champion sport, spot, uh, sport shooter, Salath Rain. The champion visited Talos One to capture a connectum of a connectome of his brain in the Neuromod division. During his visit, he was moved to present the pistol as a gift to Captain Jada Marks. Firepower 16. Holy shit, what? Oh no, okay. Unmodified 10. So it's actually exactly the same as our pistol from the beginning? Wait, no. Unmodified our pistol was at 9, right? Because 10 was the max of our pistol before. Oh, it's 8. Unmodified completely 8. So this actually could become better than our normal pistol. Shit. 
we could get this up to 18 damage. Which isn't a massive difference from 15, but, you know, it's the little steps, right? Ah, uh, well, you know what? It sucks that we found this now, because if we had found- if I had gone to the bridge all those hours ago, I wouldn't have dumped all the weapon upgrades in this. So that sucks. But you know what? I'm not gonna bother upgrading anything else, so fuck it. Now, good news. I actually have the weapon upgrades fabrication plan, so... This isn't like a, uh, a hard thing. If I wanted to, I could just make a bunch of... Fabrication, or I could fabricate a bunch of parts instead. I just don't know where the Fabricator is on this level. Uh, whoops. Fabricator! Is in the kitchen. But before we go to the kitchen, we're gonna- Whoa! Before we go to the kitchen, I wanna get Nicole Hughes' body or something. Was she really up here in the executive suites? Huh. Wait, what? She was in the guest suite. Oh. She's a phantom. Ah, oh, shit. Lady. That's a shame. Did we kill her before? Cause there was a fandom in here last time, too. But we didn't- I didn't commit the name to memory because, well, there wasn't ever a reason to. Return the wedding ring to Kevin Hig. Oh, poor guy. I wonder if we have a choice to, like, lie to him. Can we tell him that his wife wasn't a monster? And that she had just, you know, died... ...peacefully somewhere? That's what I would do. No need to let him know that she transformed into a monster and probably killed people herself. Ah oh well. So that's one of the many people who are on this level. Ah, Alright, you know what? That's when it's time to use the shotgun on a mimic. Okay. So... Hello. Please help me, there's someone trying to enter my room. I have nowhere to hide, hurry. Oh, I never read this stuff. Basement in space. Seriously? My quarters have no view of space? No windows at all? What is the one thing that a visitor staying on a space station might enjoy? Surely you have better quarters for Argentano Pero. <laughs> Argentano Pero, no! Not sparkling. I don't know what passes for sparkling wine on board, Talos, but I assure you that the flat piss your concierge delivered does not qualify. I poured it into the toilet where it belongs. I want a replacement as soon as possible. Better yet, would be a bottle of that Sardar bourbon I understand your CEO likes. And more glasses as well. The others are broken. <laughs> FYI, the code to the fitness center has changed. Too many people had given out the code to the employees that didn't have the service docked from their pay stubs. The new one is 0660, in case anyone, er, in case anyone who's paid for it forgets it. Well, that's kind of a dick move, actually. What? They have to pay to have a gym service in space? Isn't that exactly where you need the gym service? Now we have, obviously, artificial gravity. Hey, look at this guy. We have artificial gravity, so obviously they don't need to be doing rehabilitative Exercising every single day like you would on an actual space station, but uh, uh oh It's still something to be worried about All right <laughs> at least all the bodies are gone in regards to The people that we saved <laughs> look at this guy. Oh, no, oh, his legs have fixed themselves. He was secretly alive the whole time. Oh, but you know what? I forgot to... <laughs> forgot to mark bodies. Whoops! We got distracted by the emails that we never read. Alright, crew. 
Uh, crew quarters. We want to find... Let's see where these guys are. This one is... Upstairs. Uh, this one is... Towards the kitchen? Or the recreation center? And this one, Will, looks to be in the kitchen as well. Ah, oh, Will Mitchell, he was our friend. Maybe we'll have a transcribe on him. I think he had to have been hidden away inside of the lockers. Yep. 9550. Oh no, I didn't... Oh no, suspicious meat! Oh no! Will Mitchell didn't deserve that! He liked his eels and serving it with everybody. What the hell? Oh. And is- was there another person over here? That we didn't find before? Also, well, uh, I wonder if we can find Daniel's body. She's dead out there, but we'd have to look around. All right, so to make a weapon upgrade kit, we need, whoo! Oh, shit. We need three organic material and three synthetic material. We're good on the synthetic material, but the organic material, that's gonna... Screw us over. How many upgrades do I need for the the golden pistol to max it out? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whew. Yeah. In order to completely max out this gun, we would need more than I actually have the ability to make in terms of weapon upgrade kits. Now I don't mind the magazine capacity, but I do mind range and accuracy. But we have the damage maxed out, so I can start to use it. We'll make four upgrades. We're gonna max out our, up, our accuracy, and we're gonna max out our range. We do not need the magazine capacity, because I'm fine with reloading in the middle of combat. Usually the enemies are dead within 15 bullets anyways, because I use it to finish things off more than anything. And since it does more damage, I shouldn't even need that many bullets anyways. I'm still being stingy about, um, mineral- or mineral material. I- I still want to make neuromods. I still want to keep maxing ourselves out. It would be nice. We're even just getting more energy upgrades. Although I think we're- we're good. Psych- uh, Psycho Jack being maxed out- or Psycho Shock. I keep saying Psycho Jack. Psycho Shock being maxed out is amazing. All by itself. Everything else would be a- a bonus. So instead, I could, like, give myself some health. We don't really care about stamina, because I don't really melee that much. Uh, I could increase combat focus, because having that increase my damage as well would be pretty good. 125 damage. I could melt everything at a super slow pace. But still, I could melt everything. Okay, so we need to upgrade my golden gun. We're gonna mark, put that on two. It'd be cool if I could recycle my my pistol and get my, some of my upgrade kits back from it. But I do not think that is an option. My minerals. If I run out of ammo, I won't be able to make a ton of them again. Well, until we recycle more stuff. That makes me sad. Look at this thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 upgrades just slapped into this. And now I have to practically throw it away. Ugh. Oh well. Range. Max out to 35. 
And I accidentally made a weapon upgrade kit again, or an extra one that I wanted to, so there you go. 17 bullets. Now the question is, what the hell do I do to this? God, it doesn't even give you anything extra. I mean, maybe it gives a little tiny bit more material yield. We didn't really compare it to other pistols. But it certainly doesn't give you any extra spare parts. That's a ripoff to the player. They obviously didn't think of it because... How, how often are you going to ditch your guns? But I didn't know there was a golden gun on this station. A slightly better pistol. Okay. I can kill shit more efficiently. So there's still at least five bodies left over in crew quarters, I think. So we're gonna have to keep an eye out for that. In regards to everything else, oh, whoops. That's the one I wanted to do, but it was the eventual goal. Uh, I actually want to see if I could dump more stuff off. Damn, the suit repair kits were being useless for me. Still, I can get rid of some of them because I don't need that much of my inventory being taken up. I think I'm just going to store my silence pistol, honestly. Because while it would be nice to have a little bit more material, it's fully upgraded, man. And dismantling it only gives you a spare part, so fuck it. Fuck it all. What about other stuff? No wave transmitter. You know what? We're going to get rid of these. You know what? We're going to go balls deep. I want my resources back, so I can immediately get rid of them. No wave transmitter, gone. Q-beam, gone. Q-beam ammo that we've been accumulating the entire game, gone. I pretty much get 20 minerals from that, that's amazing. And then the Hunter's Bullcaster I can fuck off too. I just... I just don't want to be... Space poor, okay? I like making guns. And, and ammo and upgrade kits and things like that. Okay. Now, we still have a few places to... Still a few bodies to find. Now, these bodies might have upgrade kits. So, we're gonna... Try and get them. Guy Jameson was upstairs. Cade is in the kitchen, because she's a kitchen staff. Was she also made into mysterious meat? Scanning target typhoon material inconclusive. No, no, she was just... Oh, he was right in front of... Here, baseball glove. One night, I, I guess I passed by the body and didn't bother to look at it. We were distracted with trying to talk with... The not real Will Mitchell. Who had the super unsatisfying conclusion because he fucking practically just... He just died. I didn't even have a choice in the matter. We can offer him a med kit or something and try talking to him. He's just dead. Ugh. Okay. Who else do we need to find? Guy. Guy Jamerson. I went the wrong way. <laughs> this goes up to the executive suites. We gotta be on the second level. But I guess we're 100%ing, uh. Our current run of the game. I'm not gonna run through again and try and fucking beat the game with no upgrades at all or some crazy shit. Whoa. Guy Jameson, I think you were killed by a mimic, buddy. At least he died while chilling out on a couch. It means he was probably caught off guard and didn't know, you know, his impending doom was about to happen. Okay. Who else do we have in crew quarters? There were a lot. There were seven people. Uh, we found three. So that means now we gotta look at other places. Let me actually just mark these off. Okay, after crossing off the names, we have three people left over to find in crew quarters. And it looks like maybe I just I missed a bunch of bodies up here. Oh, yellow tulip supply closet. No wonder I wasn't able to find her body. Shit. I didn't even know there was. There you first get. Oh, 
But we found one of the other people, so that knocks it off for us. That we have two people left. One is inside of a closet that I have no access to at the moment. I can't believe I didn't find a, a, a key card for this chick. Maybe if we look for one of the other crew quarters members. <laughs> Let me in! There's no visible windows or anything for that. So I'm actually gonna have to find the supply key on my own. Son of a bitch. Alright. Well, we found Kiera. That me and that's Brandy. So that means the last person in crew is Colette from the Neuromod division. Where the hell is she? Colette. Neuromod. Let's go. She's also in the kitchen area. Jesus. I missed so many bodies. Some of them in like super obvious places. What up, Colette? I could have sworn I looked at her body before. What? I guess... I guess that happened in a quick save that we reloaded and then didn't, didn't do it. Well, shit. We don't have the tile or we don't have the yellow tulip supply key. Which means it's probably in one of these rooms that are locked off. Do we have access to any of them right now? Ah, Bellamy. His body's in psychotronics and I never grabbed it. But that's one of the things we're gonna have to do anyways. Because there is at least one person, two people, that we haven't found in psychotronics. Lorenzo Calvino. Uh. Poltergeist! Oh wait, we already scanned the poltergeist, is it right? There you are. Weakness, fire! Oh really? Oh god, look at its face. Fuck that noise, dude. You're getting burned for sure. <laughs> Alright. So have I researched absolutely all the creatures on the station? Let's see. Uh... Nightmare Morgan's nose prefer to ambush prey, uses psychokinetic action to throw objects, stunted legs make it slow. Use a Typhon Lure to help detect it or wait for an attack. Okay, Nightmare. A uh, psychic terror field can punch through psychoscope shielding. Appears to be resistant to most form of physical damage. Energy weapons or psi weapons might work. If all else fails, run. <laughs> uh, the Typhon response is an anomaly to their ecology. No, that's just the first one. So we're just gonna look at the research stuff. Thermal Phantom, running up to this thing is a bad idea, you'll burn. It appears to have an interaction with the Mimics, can temporarily charge them with the same thermal radiation. Flaming Mimics. Great. <laughs> okay. We have completely researched, I'm assuming, absolutely every single kind of creature in the game. So that's good for us. Although I'm still sad that we, there, we haven't discovered more. Especially now that I'm like, kicking super ass. I need a challenge, and I and I don't need to raise up the difficulty in order for it to happen, please. All right. So I guess since I can't access Brandy's body for now, we're gonna just have to make do. Okay. I'm gonna make me some neuromods because I'm still uh I'm still obsessed. With supreme absolute power. Scanning target error. Insufficient target. And that's what neuromods are good for. <laughs> Shut up, skillet. <laughs> I don't even know what you're saying. Morgan did a really bad job of making it understandable. You know, at this point, I should probably sacrifice some of my Psy Hypos as well. We have 70 Psy Hypos, holy shit! Scanning target error that is so ridiculous! So how many newer mods do we have now? 15. Yay. 
I'd love to see how many Neuromods are actually in the game, like, period. I'm sure someone's cataloging that. Like, if you find every single Neuromod that you can find in the world, then it'd be intriguing to see. Well, there obviously wasn't enough in the world for you to be able to make absolutely everything, but it's a decent chunk. Um, We will split this in half, because even if I want to... Whoops. Even if I trust myself to not need Psy Hypos... Eh, we'll do it again, actually. Even if I don't really need Psy Hypos all that much, we still want to be cautious. We still want to make sure that we have... Uh, a way for us to recover our health when things get- or recover our psychic powers when things get super desperate. Same thing with the medkits. I could chunk off half of this. But what if we encounter, like, a really incredibly huge spike in difficulty? Well, then I guess I'm just gonna be shooting out of luck, right? <laughs> I don't think the medkit one's that worth it. You only get uh, two organ- or two minerals? Meh. <laughs> I also got a shit ton of exotic material for that too. Oh my god! <laughs> We're gonna make ten Nero mods. Scanning target target material. This game does like a really perfect job of engaging my hoarding tendencies. I get to see the thing get made right in front of me, I can be like, ha, 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 I can't wait. Oh, no, give me another one. Yeah. That's how it makes me feel. Although it was always funny when, uh, like, look at this. I can take these back, I suppose. Uh, I always wanted to kind of, like, add them one by one. And see if you can, like, craft something different. But that... That's not how this works. I do need to start being cautious, though. Because we're reaching the point where I've, I've been in every single environment. And so... The finite materials on the station are gonna run out. Like, all the shotgun shells and pistols and things like that. We're pretty much gonna be limited to... ...everything I take from aliens. Alright. So I have 26 Nero mods. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well... We're gonna get Combat Focus 3. And then increase our toughness as well. We don't care about my stamina. Because I don't really hit things with my wrench all that much. I could also start going down to impact calibration, but we're fine in that regard. Uh, don't care about kinetic blast. Kind of been disappointing. I could get regeneration, get health back immediately. Phantom shift. Rapidly change position up to six meters away and leave behind a double that fools enemies. We don't need it. I'd rather kill the enemies incredibly quickly. So if I get remote manipulation, can access things 20 meters away. That's a pretty big distance. All right. Now I have 300 health. Oh my god. I am ridiculously overpowered. I will survive. Nothing will stop me. And my reign of this solar system. Except for, you know, doors that I can't blow up with sufficient amounts of explosives. It's a shame. Alright, let's start heading around. Uh... I don't know where to. There are a lot of places on the station still left over for us. For all of our side missions, so I guess we'll just head back to the Talus 1 lobby. And begin figuring out things from there. Or I could leave from the from the airlock and head straight into the exterior, continue the main mission a little bit, and scan the coral because we know there's like five different coral spots on the space station, at least. So, if it's not gonna allow me to scan them now, I might as well... Hello, 
nice to see you. Get the information so I can scan them later, right? That's probably a good idea. Alright. Oh! No, never mind. I got excited because it said Coral Node here, and I thought maybe he was talking about this. It wasn't. But we can go into deep storage. Ah. I forgot where the airlock door was, honestly. I thought it was all the way back at the fabricator. Hmm, what did she want us to do here, anyways? Oh yeah, she wanted us to find out what happened to her dad. Yeah. About that. He probably... He's probably dead. Well... We do have a... Body in deep storage, right? Yep, we have Lynn. Lynn who worked in deep storage and died in Lynn's... In, in deep storage. In Lynn storage. <laughs> Might as well be, right? 